Hello guys, this is Bushido here and I welcome you in the 10th episode of Final Fantasy 16. So let's continue from where we have left. Here we go in the next mission that we're gonna have to fight against Hugo Kupka from the Kingdom of Dalmekian who has uh, attacked uh, the Duchy of Rosaria. In order to start a mission, we need to speak with Otto. Gov gave you the news then. We're leaving for Rosaleth. But not before I know exactly what's going on. What have we heard? All sorts. Nobody was expecting the Delmex to open up a new front against the Empire, least of all our friends in the provinces. Reports have been rolling in from all over the place, with no two saying the same thing. I've been passing them on to Vivian, in the hope she can make sense of them. If you're set on going, you'll want to talk to her. Understood. Yes, of course, we need to talk with Vivian in order to have more information. So let's go to her because she knows very well what is going on. Vivian? Ah, if it isn't my favorite pupil. Let's see now, where did we leave? Well, this is a surprise. My lectures are rarely so well attended. Ah, uh, you know what they say? A little knowledge, uh, can't hurt? We are going to Rosalith to deal with Kuka. What's the situation there? <laughs> Whoa there, Lord Rossfield. I'm sure you're champing at the bit to return to your roost. But to fully understand the present situation, one must first understand how it came to be. And of course, now we're gonna have a listen to some story. Let us begin with the story of Hugo Kupka, or the permanent economic advisor to the Dalmekian government, to give him his formal title. In a republic founded on commerce, there could hardly be a more influential position. It has granted him both extraordinary wealth and extraordinary power. Not that he ever wanted for the latter. Being Titan's dominant, he is also Dalmechia's last line of defense, a fact he has used to his considerable advantage. Why, he was even able to pry Drake's Fang, one of the pillars of the Republic, from Parliament's grip. And he was quick to buy the loyalty of the Fang's protectors. Today they are his faithful creatures, a private army in all but name. The self-same army that marches upon Rosarian soil as we speak. By which I mean Imperial soil, not that you need reminding of the fact. Suffice it to say, the Empire's attentions are elsewhere at present. Deadlocked as it is with Dalmechia over its occupation of the Crystalline Dominion, where its legions are now gathered. Scarcely a handful of garrisons remain to secure its western provinces, and half of them left after the fall of Drake's breath. With the threat of the Ironblood thus diminished, they had little cause to fear a maritime invasion. And so today, only a token force guards the former duchy's shores, as Kupka was quick to descry. He landed his troops on the Rosarian coast without encountering so much as a single ship. All for you. Clive. He wants your head. And so he and his men advance upon Rosalith, not to capture the province, but to draw you out. You said Kupka's forces sailed up the coast. What of Port Isolde, then? Is the city safe? Quite, according to the Guardians of the Flame. The Dalmechian fleet floated by without incident, but not without remark. When they learned Kupka's forces were making for Rosalith, our friends were quick to begin arranging the exodus of her citizens. And so the stage will soon be set for your heroic homecoming. Alas, it will be a more trying task to enter the capital than it was to leave it. Hugo's men hold Buett Bridge, despite the Imperials' repeated attempts to wrest it back from their grasp. And they were careful not to repeat the Empire's mistake in neglecting their coastal defenses. The seas around Rosalith are firmly under Dalmechian control. So tell me, pupil mine, what do you believe to be the best route to Rosalith? The North. 
They cross the northern border near Phoenix Gate. Then take the road through Stillwind down to the capital. Hardly the quickest route, but at least we won't be spotted. A little local knowledge goes a long way. And so must you. We'd best get a move on, then. Oh. Will you be going, too? I? I've been waiting a long time to give that fucker a taste of his own medicine. I would have missed this for the world. All right. We should be on our way. Lead on. And it's time to start our main mission. Okay, we need to go back to Rosaria in order to fight Hugo Kupka, the advisor of the Dalmechian Empire, which is literally drawing the attention of Clive. Yeah, he's only seeking for revenge after Clive and Sid, but they both killed his lover Benedicta a few years before. So let's continue through our story. Let's go to Rosalith the, in Western Rosaria and let's fight Kuka and the hand is Reign of Terror. I wonder how it's going to be the fight. He's a, he's a titan. gates at once. Hugo and his men have been busy. They've already breached the castle's outer wall. The Imperials are holding the ground for now, but it's only a matter of time before the keep falls. Those fuckers really went to town on this place. Almost like they want to wipe it off the map. Just a means to an end. All this for one man? They didn't have to go so far. If you keep your wits about you, I reckon you can make it up to the castle without raising the alarm. I'll sniff out any townsfolk who haven't escaped yet and send them on the way. Be careful. Likewise. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. like a nightmare. This was our home. Come on, Clive. We have to keep going. Capital Punishment. Okay, this seems to be the name of the mission for this chapter. All right, so we need to. We are in Rosalith, as you elevation. can see. It's a massacre. He'll stop at nothing, Clive. Nothing. I know that. So uh, we need the. So we need to stop it once and for all. Exactly where? Oh, you mean here, Jill? Okay, but before I want to have a look around to see if I can find also some items. 
Oh Jesus, Kupka is going uh, so far. In order just to kill Clive, he's destroying a uh, whole kingdom. My god. But uh, his ambition will end soon. Some opponents will cast Protect spell to raise a defensive barrier around their allies and the shields from melee attacks. When engaging protected targets, uh, identify by uh, yeah, uh, icon above their heads. Avoid using your sword and instead employ magic to quickly and efficiently dispel, dispel the barrier. Okay. Okay, let's use some magic so that it's better. Come on. <laughs> All right. The East Man uh, were in the uh, on my league. No. All right. So it's time to go. Before let's have a look uh, if I can find other items. Uh, I think uh, I, I already collected everything they dropped, so no time to waste. Let's go. We need to save Rosalif. At least uh, what wo has left. Okay, we got one white right. There you go. Come on. Come on, come on. Go. We need to go. We need to be fast. As fast as possible. We need to save uh, the citizens. Not so fast, guys. Oh, yeah. And take that. <laughs> I'm. I won't escape. Uh huh. Really? Well, the, these were your last famous words. <laughs> These are the Kupka private private's guard. All right. Let's go. All of them. Oh, we will see about Oh, they also have dogs. Okay. Enemies are uh, approaching. Come on! Come on! Show me what you got, all of you. That all you got? Huh? I'm very disappointed from all of you. I thought you could put a good fight, but it looks like uh, you just bored me. <laughs> At least you were enough to entertain me. Come on. Come on. It's, time, it's time to go. The city is in chaos. And we need to stop the enemies once and for all. Oh my god. Oh 
Oh, oh, poison mist. I don't like it. What is that? Poison mist. I don't like it. I'll show you who's the who's the man. So we're going to do again this poison mist. Oh, look at that. This enemy seems to be very strong. Okay. All right. Come on. Come on. Take all this. Oh, you still uh, still do you still got it? Okay. Me too. All right. He staggered and now it's been defeated. This one uh, put a good fight though, it was very strong, okay, better not let my guard down uh, again, because I might find, might fight uh, other enemies like him. Anyway, let's have a look around to see if uh, there are uh, some chests, uh, no, there is nothing, alright, let's go. Come on Clive, hope we are still in time, at least uh, to save uh, what has left, what has left. There is something here, it's a potion, no bloody hides, they can be used I think of crafting if I remember, okay there's a chest in here, oh 100 gil and a spool, uh, alright, come on gil let's go, also you Torgal, we need to stop the invaders from uh, our kingdom, it's, uh, it's not a kingdom actually, it's, uh, it's a duchy, there it is, other enemies, you won't get away with it. Come on. There you go. All the enemies slain uh, in this area. Let's have a look around uh, if they uh, left something. But if they left something, uh, I'm quite sure that I've already collected. Okay. So there is nothing else to do here, let's go. We need to find Kupka and stop him the once and for all. It ends there. Yeah, he's there Clive, I know that. He's just waiting for us. All he wanted is just to draw our attention. You wanted my attention? Well you got it. Kupka, and this is gonna be the end for you. Wheel of Lighting, Pile Drive. Ooh, I like it. I'm gonna I keep it maybe later. Right now, all I want to just to stop the enemies. Come on. Okay. Oh. 
come on. And that's it. Oh, I also level up. Good, I'm uh, level now, I'm about 30, and I also increase uh, everything. That's good, I like it. Set her loose! They have a curl. I was born ready. Come on, Curl, show me what you got. Oh, oh. we crack, okay. Come on. Yes, stay down. Stay down, come on, Jill, attack, attack. Yeah, yeah. No, better not use uh, the thunder because he, he might absorb those attacks. Okay. Yeah, he's staggered. Come on. Let's uh, let's use the, uh, my limit break. Come on. Before he gain conscious. Oh, oh, electro charge. I don't like it. Whatever it takes. Oh my god. Oh my god, need to stop, need to stop, need to stop you. Yeah, I stop it, okay. Take that, curl. Oh, oh. Better stay away. Better stay away, yeah. Okay, manage uh, to... Uh, uh. Come on. Show me what you got. Oh, there you go. Yeah, no, so fast, my friend. Now it's time for counter attack. Oh, stay away, let's stay away. Yeah, it's stuck good, okay. Come on, Jill. Also you Torgal. He's down, he's down for the moment. Oh but he's, he's pretty much resistant. Oh oh wild charge, I don't like it. A new attack. A new attack. Alright. 
This wild show. Oh, stay away. All right. Now it's it's. Come on, Jill. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh, okay, you want some more? Alright, Staggered, come on Jill. Come on, come on, almost there. Yeah, has been slain. Wow, I really loved uh, this fight. <laughs> it was very intense, but I managed to have the to best him. Okay, curl, whisker, sharp fang, and monkey deck ash, and he's down. We meet at last, Sid. Or should I say, Lord Rosfield? I've been looking for you for a very long time. Let her go, Kuka. I'm so glad you accepted my invitation. I went to some trouble with the decorations. Do you like what I've done with the place? Bastard. <laughs> Such a pity your predecessor couldn't join us. But I am sure you will prove compelling company. Be still, little snowflake. I would not have you melt before your starring moment. to the festivities. Just great, that is. I suppose it's up to me then. Prisoner! <laughs> yes, no more than she deserves for getting into bed with an outlaw. <laughs> Wish she'd get into mine. <laughs> Lord Kupka commands your presence. You're to bear witness to the girl's execution. Such a waste. <gasps> 
Gav. Shh. Crystal fetters are a bastard to open, just so you know. Don't worry, I'll have them off before you can blink. Why still? In the courtyard. Shit. <sighs> The Imperials have sounded the retreat and cleared out of the castle, but the place is still swarming with Kubka's men. Leave them to me. I'll make my way up top and circle round the back, quick as you like, eh? Ah. Nearly forgot. Hold on, Jill. I'm coming. Yeah, I need to hurry. Come on. Because Jill is about to be executed. Thank you so much, guard. Thank you so much, Gav. We need to hurry. They want to execute Jill. Not until uh, I still leave and brief. So I will take a anyone uh, uh, out uh, if uh, if I st for this. Come on, come on, Clive. Let's go. We need to save Jill. And they will take every Don't everyone out. Die. No, she's not gonna die, Clive. She's not gonna die. Come on, let's collect all, all the items we got here. There is no time limit, so I suppose uh, it's okay for now to have a look around. My God, uh, if all. God, what what happened? What they have done? And uh, this place, uh, 18 years before, uh, was uh, uh, very peaceful. Come on, it's just over there. Tire of my entertainment. Enough! Yes. Perhaps it is time we served the main repast. I trust you are hungry! Need this? Much obliged. Stay close. We're getting out of here. And Toggle, thank you. Wow, do you know that, that Torgal uh, was ama amazing like this, but <laughs> now he, he's revealed his true power. Alright, I need to uh, fight against this one. Execution, okay. All right. My God, uh, give her a rest. Oh, 
Yeah, come on. Yes, dagger. Come on, my, my dearest brute. Show me what you got. All right, there. There, he has been defeated. Oh, we will see about that. I thought bad news always came in threes. Let me come. Oh my god. I've been been poisoned. Oh my god, okay, uh, I'm sick and tired. Stay down. Yeah, it's Tiger, come on. Come on. Okay, again, this poison, poison mist. Yeah, it's staggered, come on. It's over. Enemies has been slain. And also I got more and more gear, more experience, uh, more ability points uh, which uh, I need to use and more items. All right. It's over. For now. But I bet that wasn't the last of them. Then they won't stop hunting us until Kubka's dead. So you get in there and finish the job, eh? Go on. If they come again, we'll hold them back. All right. But be careful. Yeah, it's time to settle the score once and for all. First, I want to have a look around this place. Maybe I can find some chests, some items so that will come very handy. I haven't. Uh, it's the first time that I see my little friend Torga like this. Bark. <laughs> it's like I say, go. We'll hold them. Hold them back. 
Togal uh, is not just a dog or a wolf or whatever it is, uh, it's also a, a powerful creature, incredible. Okay, it's time to stop Kuka. Where are you? Show you. You'll die by my hand. Yeah, you will. Well, maybe I'm supposed to go there, um, but first of all, I want to have a look here. Maybe I can find other items. Yes, of course. Do I, is there a potion? One that I got? Yes, insufficient and which has been used. Okay, no problem. Where are you, Hugo? Hugo. Defend your father's throne, Lord Rosfield. <laughs> the Grand Duchy of Rosaria. A realm without a ruler, an army, even a people. A veritable kingdom of dust. Truly, I see no throne to defend. No! Enough of your games, Kupka. Just tell me what you want. Sid's head in a box. Imagine my disappointment when I learned that he met his end at the hand of another. And my relief to learn that you had taken up his thrice damned name. Your master slew Benedicta Harmon and defiled her body. If you choose to bear that murderer's name, then you shall answer for his crimes. The only crimes I shall answer for are my own. Sid did everything in his power to save that woman, though she was long past saving. And so I did what he couldn't. It was me all along, Hugo. It was... you. You... you killed her. I did. I am fortunate indeed. I had thought the most I could wish for was to take the life of one he loved, just as he did to me. But it seems I was wrong. And I shall have my revenge. We shared a dream! I would be the king of the world! She would be my queen! And together, we would rule like the gods we are! But you crushed that dream, ground it into dust! Hear me, Rosfield! You will pay! For what you've done, I'll tear you apart with my bands! And what of you? How many people have you killed? How many dreams have you crushed? You're not the only one who's seen their world fall apart around them. 
You'll get no pity from me, Kuka. No pity. And no mercy. Now die! No, Kuka, you will die. You will die. Alright, it's time for oh for the real battle. Come on. Oh, Slade Chamber, I don't like it. Oh my god, so strong, Kuka. My god, it's not, not just strong, it's also fast. Okay, Kuka. Looks like I have to use everything in my power. Come on. All right. Yeah. Yeah, too slow. Come on. Yeah, it's Tugger, come on. Now or never. Come on, now or never. Not this time. Not this time, uh, my dear. <laughs> yeah, you take that. Is that all you got? What are you trying to do? Oh my god, it's coming from uh, it's coming from the from down. Oh oh, oh my god, what a huge uh, uh, strike! Oh, 
Oh my god, what is he trying to do? Weight of land. I don't like it. So strong, my god, it's also defending self. Show me what you got, Kupka. Now it's time for me. Again, this attack. Alright. My god, you do get away. To get away. Oh, I don't like it. Let's see who is gonna be the best. Yeah, it's target, come on. Come on, come on. Let's go, Clive. Let's put him down once and for all. Torment. Oh my god, I don't like it, this attack. Just like your forefathers. Earth and fury. Yeah, better stay away. You done? Okay, now it's my turn, uh, my friend. You tired the bill because of the attack. God, earth and fist. Better stay away. Oh, in again. Better stay away. My God, it's tearing me apart. Come on. Oh. Stay away. Stay away. Oh my god. It's very strong, Kupka. Play chamber, oh my god. Come on. Nice 
try. Now it's my turn. Yeah. Come on, come on. Yeah, it's staggered. It's staggered. It's taking too much time, my god. Titanic counter, oh my god, oh man, no. Land. Yeah, let's use this one. Come on. Landslide, come on. Doesn't have too much left, come on. He doesn't have much time, much left, come on. He doesn't have much time, alright. Kuka has been defeated. Yes, Heart Shard, still sick and meteorite. Even uh, this fight uh, was very intense uh, as well. My god. There, there. You mustn't get yourself worked up. Wait! 
Another time, Mythos. Is that all of them? I think so. Well, Luda scum. Who the fuck invited them? Not that that's the biggest surprise we've had today. Where did you learn to do that toggle? Not telling, eh? Suit yourself. Gav, we have to find Clive. Right, sorry. missed one. We were worried. So was I. I was so close. If it hadn't been for my gift, I would have finished him. I'm just glad you got out of there alive. When did the Royalists arrive? Right after you went inside. Just when we thought we were shot of Titans, lot. In Pile Odins. Not enough of them to worry us, though. No. You didn't see the one who took Kukra away. So, what? You think they came here to save him? I'll be fucked if I know what's going on, but every minute we spend racking our brains, that bastard's getting further away. So what do we do? We go back to the hideaway. I'm too tired to think. As are you, by the looks of it. After what Jill's been through. Let's worry about Kuka later, shall we? Aye. All right. Well, give us a chance to solve the riddle of your magic mud, too. Hey, how are you feeling? Ready to go home? Twilight Rose Very strange uh, what happened so far I mean uh, we were very close to to kill Kuka once and for all and uh, all in a sudden someone came gave him a punch and uh, take him uh, and he took him away w what was that mysterious man I mean he, he just knocked out Kuka with just uh, a punch on his stomach and that's all was he came to he came to save him, or to use him for something else? Either way, uh, Clive also managed to steal the some of the powers of Kupka, because uh, as you probably are aware, uh, Clive can steal uh, magical powers from uh, other uh, people who are basically the dominant. He did this with uh, uh, with Benedicta, she Kupka's, Kupka's lover. And uh, no, not actually with Sid, uh, it was Sid who gave him uh, his power before dying. But either way, at least we managed to save Rosalit from what, it, what we have seen. I mean, the city is uh, like half destroyed. But uh, in, uh, once we're done this, uh, mm, we haven't got anything nice to do but just coming back to the, back to the hideaway. And see and prepare for uh, our 
uh, make other preparatives for later okay let's go back to the hideaway and see what they are going to do now maybe just resting and that's all just look at the state of you you're more of a wreck than this place is this what you call taking better care of yourself no more excuses your ladyship i order you to rest <sighs> fine i'll rest Don't worry, Gav. She's in good hands. But we should have never let her fall into Hugo's. Back when he had some like. The question is, where is he now? And what the hell were those royalists doing there? Hmm. I was wondering about that all the way home. Otto may have heard something. I'll talk to him. And I'll talk to Tomes. The lawsman? About what? about your faithful hound for a start. If any four-legged friends ever done that before, I'm betting Tomes will have read about it. But what I want to know is, what happens afterwards? It's all well and good Toggle saving our asses, but if it costs him what it costs Jill... Right. Let me know if you learn anything. Will do. And you do the same, eh? Jill, listen to Taya. I will. Thank you. Balls from the blue. Okay. What we've got? Oh, the power of heart. Clive's claim a portion of the icon Titan's essence. A tuning with Titan not only changes the elemental aspect of Clive's magic spell, but also allows access to several new iconic abilities, such as Wind Up, Singular Strike that increases the impotency when charged. Ability details are found on the abilities of the tab in the main menu. Alright, I like it. Titan's Feet Titan's iconic feet, Titanic Block, can be used to fend off most uh, incoming attacks. Using square immediately after a perfectly timed precision block will initiate a devastating counter. Wow, I like it. Let me just check once again the animation. Okay. So let's see. I need to do this. Uh, Alright. I hope I will learn it. Uh, maybe. Okay. Balls from the blue, so I'm supposed to speak with Otto, but before doing that, let's have a look around. Let's speak with uh, with Nectar. <laughs> Is the Moogle. Oh yeah, by the way, before I for forget, uh, I need to ask about the hands. Uh, after my, my previous part, I tried to look for the griffin. I managed uh, in the hand to find him and uh, destroy him. He, <coughs> he was uh, very powerful. <laughs> So, need to have a look at view the hunt, and I also defeated another enemies. enemy. Uh, this is Dosman, and so this was the Griffin, which I killed. And this is the other one, Severian. He was also powerful. Oh, Maddy Mar Murderer. This one is class A, so it seems to be strong. Belfagor, that's the one still missing. And uh, sec Secret. Oh, Secret! Uh, it's it's basically a guardian force from Final Fantasy VIII, I remember. Yes, Secret, it was the uh, guardian force of the of the elemental earth from Final Fantasy VIII, the game, uh, original game from 1999. It was my favorite one. I used to play it uh, for the original PlayStation 1. All right. Uh, no need to, to stay with Nectar. Uh, uh, let's go to replenish myself with some uh, potions because uh, I used all of them uh, uh, to fight Kupka. So let's talk with Karen and uh, also let's go to see our blacksmith. <coughs> is it business or pleasure? It is business, my dear. So le let le give me some potions. It better all be here. Hike potion as well. 
and uh, let's see if I can sell also something uh, who knows maybe what well, we got here uh, the Montamer Sash I think probably that I owned I can sell uh, at least one at least one yeah that's fine fine by me you got out else yeah uh, what else uh, I can sell? Uh, let me just competition bonds. Uh, mm, not this one. Let's see between my items. Uh, maybe something that be not useful crafting. Uh, only something that can give me some gill. Uh, no, 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 no. No, not at all. I think I haven't got anything uh, that can be sold. Because this item, I need to keep them in order to, uh, for me to craft uh, uh, more good equipments so or more <coughs> powerful weapons. Finished, are you? Yeah. Okay. Let's go talk with my with Blackthorn. Clive. Yeah. Sorry, what Mind if I use the forge? No, I don't need, need the broad broadsword. Not even a Gaia blade. Pulse Fox Sash, uh, no, not this one as well. Platinum Cannons, no, I don't need them. Traveler's Band, Steel Crown, Iron Bracers. I can't reinforce anything uh, so far, so there is nothing else. Let me just have a look at the map here. Mm, I haven't got any side quest uh, at all. I read the stone. This is like if I want to do the same fight, uh, the previous fight, also change my appearance. Normal uh, burn black. I like the I like the burn black as well as chill as snow white. And uh, also, Gavin needs to figure out uh, how how Torgal is such a powerful dog. I mean, it's not—it's not just a normal dog. It's like a magic dog. He has magic powers. Uh, I never expected it from him. He surprised me some uh, mo most of the times. Okay, let's uh, talk with Daisy Re. See maybe if I can I take the uh, other stuff in here. No, no, not so far for the moment. Expand renown to unlock. More donation uh, will become available upon achieving a renown rating of 350. And my renown rating is only 185. Come again. Okay. I may have more for ya. Goat, let's go with goat, maybe. Is there any reports? No. Nope. I haven't uh, stopped uh, Scabot past fear now. Nothing like to do. Eh? Alright, let's save for the moment and then let's speak with Otto again. Because after... Uh, oh yeah, this is the Titan channel. It means uh, I can start uh, learning some of, uh, of its abilities. And that's something that I'm going to do. Oh, what we got? Raging Fist. Okay, let's do this one. And... Uh, shall we upgrade this one? Maybe? Titanic block. I think I'm gonna upgrade this one. Yes. Raging fist. All right. I think that's pretty much uh, what I can do. The other ability points are not enough. Yeah, unfortunately. All right. I guess I'll, I'll have to keep fighting. And uh, once that, I can master it. Wow. Raging fists. He has very less abilities. Uh, the the only one who has more abilities is the the one of the Phoenix. Yeah, this is the Phoenix. No, actually, this is Ifrit. Yeah. So, but still, I haven't finished to upgrade all my abilities. Uh, not even uh, for Garuda, not even for the Phoenix, uh, and not even for Rambo. But that's okay. There's still time. First of all, I need to remember that I need to save and then let's speak again with Otto 
I'm on level number 30 and I have uh, new abilities. We got Ifrit, uh, no, Ifrit is Phoenix, Garuda, Ramu, and Titan. All right, let's go speak with Otto. Otto, is now a good time? Mm. It's not a bad one. How's Jill doing? Oh, she's been better. Ty is making sure she gets the rest she needs. Good. Any word on Kupka's movements? Vivian's doing what she can to try and track him, but she's feeding on scraps. We've sent owls out to the Curse Breakers and our other friends in the West, asking them to keep their eyes peeled for anything unusual. No leads yet, but it's only a matter of time. All right. Let me know when you find something. There he is. All right, Clive. Still busy saving the world. Mid. When did you get back? Mm, just now. What about your studies? Adjourned. Since Hugo Kupka invaded Rosaria. All the canvas in uproar about it. He's gone mad. He's turned rogue. It'll be us next. You try concentrating with all of that. All right, all right. You win. How long will you be staying this time? Dunno. A while, most likely. Any road while I'm here, I was hoping you could do us a favor. Mid. You can't just expect me to. Please oblige her. <sighs> while we are busy tracking down Kupka, you should have a little time to spare. Professor! Now there's a face I haven't seen in a while. Shouldn't you have it buried in a dusty old tome? <laughs> I did. Till a familiar trill pricked my ears. As ever, your exuberance is a breath of fresh air. Which successfully scattered the painstakingly assembled fragments of my thoughts. I'll take that as a compliment. Well, Clive, you heard the professor. So, I'll meet you in the storeroom when you're done. Wait, hold on! Breath of fresh air. Bloody tempest, more like. Oi, Otto, you got my gill. Huh? What are you all about? My fee for bringing Mid across. She said you were paying. That little. The storeroom, was it? I wonder what Mid's plotting. Yeah, let's go check it out. And by the way, Mid, Mid is also one uh, side side character from Final Fantasy V. So they brought it as well uh, in Final Fantasy sixteen. I like it. The, there are many references from the previous uh, games of the series. All right, there is Jill who is still resting. Oh, what can I inspect? Treatment diary, okay. Focus with infirmary, we address the restoration. Yeah, of course, okay, no problem. How are you holding up, Jill? I'll be alright, Clive. I just need some rest. Yes, you need rest. I mean, uh, you have a curse in your body, so you can't, you can't keep uh, yourself uh, fire, fire too much. So, le, she, you should I'm leave uh, the job to me for the moment. Us. Just make yourself uh, just uh, rest and uh, come back when you are feeling better. All right, Should let's go, let's go to talk with Mid in the storeroom. You took your time. I'm a busy man, Mid. I'll get to the point then. I want to turn the room down there into a workshop like the one I had at Dad's place. Mid, you've only just come back. And I've been thinking about it for a while. Dad said I had a knack for engineering. Told me everything he knew about it. Then sent me off to Canva to learn everything he didn't. That was his dream for me. That one day I'd put my studies to use for the good of the cause. But I'm helping no one stuck at school. I've studied enough. It's time I put my knack to work. I know that I can help the people here. And I want to do it. Well, well, well. It's sick to see you now. All right? 
I'll tell Otto you'll be staying. <laughs> I knew you'd say yes. Which is why I wrote up a list of jobs for you. For me? Who else? <sighs> what do you want me to do? First things first, I need equipment and materials to start making my own. There's the design to the stuff I need and the stuff it needs smithing from. The other materials I can work myself. Just need a generous benefactor to lay them on for me. Apart from the wood, I'll need a carpenter for that, but I can just borrow yours. Is that everything? For now. I'll let you know if I need out else. Okay, uh, let's prioritize this quest. Getting to work. Uh, List of materials. Stars. Materials and tools. That means Karen and Blackthorn. Yeah, okay. Let's try to speak with Blackthorn. <clears throat> he might know better than, our, than us. Okay, let's go there and let's have a little chat with Black Fawn. <coughs> Maybe Karen, who knows? But we need some materials to create uh, workshops. This this on this uh, doesn't seem to be a, a main quest. It's more look like a side quest. Why why they make make it sound like a main quest? I mean, it doesn't make any sense. Let's start with Karen first and then uh, Black Fawn. I was wondering where you got to. Mid's back from Canva. Have you seen her? Just now. She's planning to set up a workshop in the stores and ask me to buy her some materials. Here's the list. Okay, list of materials. Let's give it to her. Think you can find everything on there? This lot. Would be much of a trader if I couldn't. Excellent. As for payment, it's paid, hundred times over by what that girl's done for us. If it weren't for her filters, we'd have not to drink but blight water, and that would have drained the life out of us long ago. Indeed, it would. I'll send the stuff on to Mid when it comes in. Thank you, Karen. Hmm. No idea, it was already paid, so so it looks like uh, she's, she's doing pretty much a good job mid, just for after arriving uh, for less time. Okay, Blackthorn, it's your turn. Blackthorn, you busy? What's it look like? I have a commission for you, from mid. She requires certain tools. Okay, let's give him this supply kit. Think you can make them? Bloody hell. Was she planning to build with this stuff? An airship? Yeah. I'll see what I can do. Tell her I'll bring them over when I'm done. <sighs> My thanks. And mids, no doubt. That just leaves the carpenter. Let's see if Bardolph's available. Okay, let's go to the carpenter, and where am I supposed to... <coughs> where is the carpenter? I don't actually remember. Where it is... okay. Shall I need to go downstairs? Maybe so. So let's take the lift in here. That should bring me <coughs> next to the carpenter. Which is just over there. Yes, there it is. And let's give him the list uh, of the last materials that we need to create a workshop. How do, Master Sig? Bardolf. Mid's looking to build a workshop in the storeroom, and she needs the aid of a skilled carpenter. So naturally, I thought of you. Well, I'd love to help the young miss however I can, but I'm afraid I got my hands full just keeping this place afloat. There's holes need patching, and if I don't patch them, will all of us sink into the mere? I gladly spare mid all the time I have, but the sad truth is, I ain't got none. <sighs> I see. It don't have to be me, though, does it? What about that other fella? You know, the one over at Martha's Rest. Bernard, was it? That's right. And he is a friend of the cause. I'll ask Martha if she can spare him. Thank you, Bardolph. <laughs> Least I could do. 
Okay, so it looks like uh, this carpenter can't help me and I need to go to Marfarf's rest. I know exactly where it is, so it shouldn't be a problem. I think it's, it will be just me and Torgal. Unless uh, Gav is studying Torgal's movements. By the way, uh, yeah, this is the place, the hideaway. He looks really like an airship. I I I might may believe that one in, if I proceed with the story, this is they they can build uh, the airship as well. Who knows? Maybe. Anyway, let's go to Marfa Marfa's rest uh, before doing that. Okay, and uh, and we will see the other carpenter. They may give us some help. Here we are, almost. Come on, let's load, load, and there it is. Where is the carpenter? It's inside here. Marfa's rest. Okay, let's talk with Marfa. Ah, Clive, what brings you to the rest? Our home finds itself in need of an extra carpenter. I wondered if I might be able to borrow Bernard for a short while. I don't mind if he don't. We're all friends here, aren't we? Thank you, Martha. Do you know where I might find him? He went up to Cressida on business. No idea what, mind. Place is a ruin. Far as I know, he's still there. I'll look for him there, then. Okay. Looks like he went in a place far, far away. Yeah, Torga is with me. Jill is not because she's resting because uh, she has a curse uh, uh, in her body all right let's find uh, the carpenter it's supposed to be in the in the wild lands so uh, I'm quite I'm quite sure that we'll find many enemies and I can literally see them from here I can avoid them because uh, they are not very powerful so I think I'm gonna call my chocobo Ambrosia Oh, my little friend. Okay, so I can be far more fast with her. Come on, Ambrosia, let's go. You can also jump like this, right? But uh, this is, there is an invisible wall, of course. And of course, I can go. I can go in the water. Now I'm not gonna fight you all, so you can stay quiet, uh, enemies. I'm just passing by. Also, you big horn. I'm not gonna fight you. Uh, where uh, shall I go? No, I can't go from here, unfortunately. Uh, oh, it's on the other side. Oh, it's just on the other side. I was, I was going uh, literally uh, somewhere else. <laughs> All right, I need to, I need to get back uh, where, where I was, and. Uh, Taking the other the other path. Yeah, I was going uh, different side. No, 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 I won't fight you. No worry. Come on, Torga, let's go, let's go. Because we were taking the a different path. So, is here? Yeah, yeah. Let's uh, let's follow this path in here, and then let's go. Um, He's supposed to be north, and uh, I was going. I was going east, <laughs> literally. Uh, no, I haven't got any sense of orientation, like a character from uh, famous animes of the 80s, 90s. It was uh, Ranma. Yeah, the an the anime is Ranma. The character it was Ryoga Ibiki. <laughs> If you already, if you if you guys have watched the Ranma, I suggest you do it because uh, it's uh, very wonderful. It's from the, the creator of uh, Inuyasha and uh, Urusei, uh, Urusei Yatsura, <laughs> and the creator is Rumiko Takashi. Oh yeah, if I remember there is no bridge in here. And actually no. Oh yeah, I'm from one of my previous mission. Uh, the bridge uh, was built. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so I'm supposed to go here. Yeah, that's that's where uh, that's where uh, I have to go. So I can uh, call again Ambrosia. Hello, my friend. Long time we not see, huh? <laughs> Just like uh, two minutes ago. <laughs> Let's take all these items that are here. 
there are some potions, uh, some items for using for crafting, also gear, uh, better than nothing. Not gonna fight you, so you can stay quiet, uh, my friends. Alright, I shouldn't be too far from what I can see. Yeah, I can just go here, turn right, uh, shouldn't be hard to find it. No, I'm going the different uh, uh, location. Okay, it's just here. There are also a few items here that I can take. Sharp fang and kill bug, which I can sell it for a good price. Okay, I can dismount. Thank you, Ambrosia. And there is my carpenter. I have the lad who saved my life. What brings you to a place like this? You do, Bernard. Martha said I might find you here. I have a proposition for you. Oh, do you know? Yep. We need your help for a good cause. Building a workshop, you say? <laughs> well, that beats tacking boards to bridges, sure enough. And... If Martha didn't mind me being gone a while, then neither do I. You just tell me where you want me. <laughs> That's the spirit. I, uh, I couldn't ask a favor, though, could I? Before we go? Of course. <sighs> well, that there is Cressida, where I grew up. Ain't much left of it now, though. Except my parents' graves. But I, I came up here hoping to visit. I even patched up the bridge to get across. Only to find the place crawling with thieves. But you're a dab hand when it comes to dealing with beasts and bogles, ain't you? Any chance you could... Uh... It's the least I can do. Well, thank you kindly. And take care. Okay, no worry Bernard, I'll kill your fiends, if that's uh, what you want. Let's kill some enemies in this area. This shouldn't take long. I think I'm gonna start using uh, Titan. Where can I use Titan? New enemies. Where are those? There they are. Take that. Not done with you yet. Yeah, there's still one more, and it seems to be powerful. Maybe. Oh. Okay. Oh, you're very powerful. Okay. Okay, I'm sick and tired of you. Okay. 
Yeah, it's not good. Come on. Come on. Start going again. And he's dead. Enemy slain. This one was uh, also powerful. Okay, more experience, uh, more ability points, and uh, more kill. And that's it. That should do it. Yes. You're right, Clive. You made short work of that lot. Thank you, son. Now my folks can rest in peace once more. How long is it since the village was abandoned? Oh, people started packing their things after the duchy fell. Between the Blight and the Imperials, you just couldn't make ends meet. Must be nigh on a decade since the last wagon left. Oh, it may as well have been a century. Looking at the place. This isn't the Cressida I remember. I'm sorry. Ah, don't be. Can't live in the past. No matter how nice it might have been. As soon as I'm done saying a prayer for those that raised me, it's on to your hideaway. I'll meet you there. Thank you so much. Yes, you're right. Anyway, I want to have a look at uh, this village who has been abandoned. Oh, who knows, maybe I can find something. I don't actually remember. Yes, there is one item here. And of course, there is a chest. Let's see. Chunks of boy, right? Alright, better. Let's have a look, yeah, as you can see, it's an abandoned village, maybe it's been abandoned like for uh, uh, 30 years, who knows. Oh, I didn't know that I could also get in, go inside here. Okay, let's see. Maybe there is something else, yeah, of course, another chest, spool of steel silk. <laughs> I didn't want to do this one, but uh, I pressed the wrong button. Let me have a look at the map. Okay, let me just go there. Maybe I can find other stuff. Who knows? It's more like an arena for uh, uh, monsters. Some shop ranks. Maybe if, uh, maybe here I fought some somebody, but I don't I don't quite remember who. Yeah, it's more it more looks like an arena for. Uh, uh, boss battle, yeah. All right, I think uh, there is no reason for me to stay here any longer. I'll just uh, head straight back to the to the hideaway, but uh, I'm not gonna <laughs> I'm not gonna record uh, the part where I go back to the hideaway. So I'll be back once I'm there. So see you later, guys. Okay, here I am at uh, the hideaway, ready uh, with uh, everything that I collected for mid, so ready when you are mid, we can start uh, the the job for the, your workships. Workship. Alright Clive, you've all done then? I am. I've placed your various orders, and a carpenter by the name of Bernard is on his way from Martha's Rest. That's brilliant! Thanks Clive. Is there... anything else you need? Nope. Blackthorn and Lady Karen have already sent over everything I asked for, and I've got all my plans drawn up. So as soon as Bernard gets here, we can get to work. <laughs> I can't wait. All right. Let's see uh, how is it. How is coming? Okay. The breath of the earth. Wind up. 
The schedule help uh, either that having failed reduce wind up cooldown time by 3.0 second. Okay, I like it. <sighs> That's my good deed for the day done. Let's see how Jill's faring. Yeah, you're right, Clive. Let's go see how Jill is all dealing up. And also, I've got some new side quest which uh, I'm going to do later. But for the moment, let's see how his lover is holding up so far. Ah, uh, Clive. Toya. How's Jill? Recovering, but she still needs her rest. Of course. Take good care of her, won't you? I'll do my best. Oh, Gav was looking for you. He said he had something to show you in the shelves. The shelves? Oh, that's right. He went to ask Hippocrates about Torgor. He must have found something. Yes, we need to we need to see uh, what is what is really Torgal. There you go, Jill. I'm a lot better, thanks to Taya's remedies. But she insists I rest. Uh, yes, you have Jill, I'm afraid. Alright, uh, now it's time to see what Gav has discovered about Torgal. Because it looks like Torgal is not just a, a normal dog or a wolf, it is a magical creature. And uh, who knows. Uh, but so far he has always uh, helped us, he has always been loyal to us. But we need to figure out uh, it's my problem. First of all, I want to see Karen. Well, don't just stand there gawping. Hmm, you got something, something good for me, Karen? I hope so. No, 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 you'll see. Now we'll see. Okay, so... Hunter's waist glove. Oh, I like it. But uh, it's not very powerful, though. It might be... It might be improved... Uh, Yes, I think I'm gonna take it for now and then go to Blackthorn, see if it can be improved. It will decrease my defense though, oh, I, that's very bad. It's decreasing my defense, I'm gonna take it uh, and uh, let's see if uh, once improved uh, uh, it's gonna be of a good use. Okay, let's see it. No, I'm not gonna keep this one for Come the again. moment. Oh, don't. Okay, let's go to Blackthorn. What do you need? I need to use the forge. Oh, look at that green stone. Oh, I like it. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this green stone. It lost you a good one. Yes, uh, I keep the crown newly crafted item. Hunter's waist cloth, okay. Reinforce. Ah, oh, could uh, just craft uh, this one, okay. First one, uh, re reinforce this one. You can thank me later. No, not the more, not for now. Hunter's wa waist cloth, and uh, let's uh, reinforce it again. Yeah, that should do you. Hmm, it's not uh, not enough, uh, unfortunately. And this way, cloth, platinum, uh, that's all. And looks like uh, it wasn't very good item. Uh, this hunter uh, stuff. So I'm gonna sell it. And what can I do for you? Watch yourself out no, there. not now. First of all, uh, let's go talk with Gav. Let's see if he has find out something about Torgal. Clive, where have you been? I've been wanting to ask you something about Torgal. Where did you get him? Like, in the first place? Uh, my father brought him back from one of his expeditions into the Northern Territories. They were crossing a snowfield when they heard his cries, and seeing no sign of his pack, they took him in. What do you reckon, Tomes? It certainly adds weight to the theory. Clive, 
I believe that Torgal may be no mere hound, but a rare frost wolf, an animal native to the far northern reaches of Valisthea. In one of our oldest bestiaries, I found reference to a frost wolf who served as guardian to an ancient queen of the north. Such was his mastery over ether, he could cast magics on command. His name was Fenrir. Fenrir the Frost Wolf. Now, the annals do not state it explicitly, but I have reason to believe this queen was a dominant of Shiva, a girl from the Northern Territories and her faithful hound. One awakens as the dominant of Shiva, and the other? You're saying that Jill granted Toggle his powers? What? Just like Fenrir. People called him my hound, but Toggle and Jill were inseparable. He grew up as a faithful companion to the dominant of Shiva, and years later, his powers awakened. Just when his master needed him the most. You're right. If it weren't for Torgal blasting those bastards to kingdom come, Jill would have been for it. Quite. Though Torgal's power is his own. His latent birthright as a Frostwolf. It had only to be unlocked. Oh, get you, Torgal. <laughs> You're an even finer hound than we thought. And regarding your original concern, you need not fear for Torgal's health. Why, the beast has the appetite of a behemoth. Just this very morn, I found him with his nose buried in my nuts. There you are! I've been looking everywhere for you. Bernard's here. I need you to introduce us so we can get to work. <sighs> I shall be a moment. Some time later. Looks like the worship is complete. Oh, look at that. I like it. This new place. <gasps> it is brilliant. It is. Well, I couldn't have done it without you. You and everyone else. But I promise I'll pay you back. I'm going to work my fingers to the bone for you lot. Starting right now. Just you wait. I'll make wonders like this world's never seen! Then I look forward to seeing them. Now that that's settled, I wonder if Vivian's made any progress tracking down Kupka. Uh, yes, we need to talk with uh, Vivian and look for Kupka. Oh, let's Thanks talk with Bernard. Forcing. That was a good deed you did me. Only right I do you one in return. Yeah. Oh, I did wonder if I spit off more than I can chew when mid show. Thanks for letting me do this, Clive. I'll pay you back, I promise. No worry. You you can wait for I can wait. But for now I have an important mission to do and track down Kupka again. I need to figure out where he has been taken and who was the man who knocked him down. I mean, he can't come down just uh, one punch. Looks like uh, might be Kupka's master, maybe? No, uh, not a clue. Oh yeah, first of all, I want to have a look uh, uh, in the uh, in the hunt board because uh, while uh, I was away, I also defeated one of the uh, another creatures. Let's ask about the hunt board. No, no, I don't need to ask you anything. I just want to have a look uh, into the hunt board. Yeah, basically I defeated another creature while I was going back uh, to the hideaway. And uh, the name, yeah, it was uh, secret, this one here. And also obtain uh, other renowned points, which uh, let's see if I can spend them, maybe not, if Welcome I remember. Because I haven't got enough. Received, yes, I need other 295. And then 350, and maybe I might have finished. Come again. I may have more mm. for you. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. 
But first, let's talk with Vivian. She might have some information about uh, Kupka's where whereabouts. How goes the hunt for Kupka? Largely in circles. We have myriad sightings of strange soldiers in unexpected places, but nothing definitive as yet. If only we knew for certain by what route he left Rosalith. Well, keep at it. If anyone can piece this puzzle together, it's you. And I'm willing to wait as long as it takes. What? Here? Would that be a problem? Do you know, Clive? I believe it a mercy that you didn't inherit your father's throne. Your poor people would surely live in fear of you. You have nothing to worry about on that front. I won't be claiming his crown. <laughs> that is a relief. Uh, Clive, have you got a minute? We, um, have a guest. A guest? Who is this guest uh, he's talking about? Is a good person or not? For your trouble! It was a pleasure. In hindsight. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Byron? Clive, my boy! Tap a cask and stoke the ovens for your favorite uncle is here! <laughs> oh, okay, he's uh, his uncle, Uncle Byron. Meanwhile, what is going on? Inside the Holy Empire of Sunbreak. The seat of the Imperial Court. The Dalmechian government sues for peace. How shall we respond? If they are willing to accept their fault in the matter, I see no reason to refuse them. Still, we must insist on substantial reparations. The twin side stores are not as bottomless as reported. Aye, and we have many more mouths to feed. We shall just have to have the Dalmex empty their treasuries for us. Of course, none of this would have been possible without your timely intervention, Prince Olivier. Indeed, I doubt any of us would have had the courage to trade words with the mighty Titan, nor less the wit to win him over. The Empire owes you a great debt. May the blessing of the crystals go with you, Your Highness. May the blessing of the crystals go with you. Very good. Now, let us come to the question of precisely when the Dalmex will withdraw their troops. Dion's fire could rid us of them in mere moments. The men of the Fist will not withdraw until a peace treaty is concluded. Now let us keep the negotiations open, give them time to gather what gold and trinkets they can. And once they deliver that which we demand, what worth is a piece of parchment? Your Radiance, were Prince Dion to take the field, the enemy would surely send their own dominant to meet him. And while His Highness would of course prevail, there would be heavy losses on both- You need not fear Hugo Kupka. He is engaged on the Western Front. Even were the Dalmex to send for him, he would not arrive in time. As much as I would enjoy witnessing a clash between Bahamut and Titan, it is not to be. And what of your subjects, Your Radiance? 
If the fighting spread to the city proper, the people would bear the brunt of it. There will be losses, it is true. Yet for every citizen who falls, another can be bred. For every home that burns, another can be built. The Empire will live on. Dion? Yes, sir. Prepare for battle. But, sire... Do not make me repeat myself. Return to your camp, and await my orders. If that is your wish, your radiance, I shall depart at once. the astrologers all go. The stars are in agreement, your radiance. The shadow of treachery hangs over Prince Dion. So Annabella's tales were true. You disappoint me, Dion. What the hell is he plotting Queen Annabella, Clive's mother? Literally, I despise her. Yeah, only way to find out. And we also need to find out what the, what the hell uh, the Empire is plotting. Especially Clive's mother, Queen Annabella. She's not my queen. She's not a queen on anyone. She uh, has only a title, but uh, she is she despicable. Especially the way she betrayed uh, uh, the original uh, Duchy of uh, Rosaria after uh, the father of Clive was killed. Anyway, let's talk with uh, Uncle Byron. Let's see if uh, he has something to say. Ah, my dear nephew, how I've missed you. How did you find this place, Uncle? Through the good offices of young Sir Wade. He really is the most helpful fellow. As are you, I hear. The Guardians and those they freed tell the most outlandish tales of your heroics in Rosalith. Which is why I came, to learn the full truth of the matter. Sort the fact from the fiction, so to speak. You were working with the Guardians of the Flame to evacuate the people of Rosalith the Port Isolde. I was. I. Then I have questions for you. Please, come inside, Uncle. Gladly. Uh, you there? There are 2,000 gold talents in those chests. See that they're added to my nephew's coffers, would you? 2,000? <laughs> Two thousand, <laughs> I guess so, Gav. And I'm afraid that is all I know. 
A fleet sailing south past Port Isolde. Most intriguing. Forgive me for not being able to tell you more. I hadn't the faintest idea Coco withdrew wounded from Rosalith. Still less that my own nephew dealt the decisive blow. What do you think, Vivian? I think, with this news of the Dalmechian fleet and recent reports of the Royalists' movements, that the final piece of the puzzle has fallen into place. Come here and I'll show you. Okay, Vivian, show me. Show all of us. It is known that Kupka's forces entered Rosaria via its unguarded coast. So can the same be said of your visitors from Walud? Certainly her royal navy is famed for the efficiency with which it bears her knights from one battlefield to the next. And in the Ein Heyar, or Black Galleon, she boasts a vessel nigh as swift and every bit as feared as the kingdom's legendary cavalry. A fitting flagship for a land apart, her naval presence being crucial to her ambitions beyond Ash. Yes, it seems safe to assume that the Royalists did indeed enter Rosaria from the sea. So then, had you a vested interest in Titan's survival, whither would you take him? Why home to Drake's Fang? A place rich enough in ether to conjure the magics needed to mend his hurts. But would that not entail an arduous voyage around the Southern Cape? Let us say that the Royalists did put ashore with a mind to spirit Kupka away from under your very nose. Could that truly have been their plan for him? To load him aboard one of the ships flying Republican colors sighted off the coast near Port Isolde. To spend weeks at sea being tossed hither and yon by unforgiving waves, his life hanging in the balance. No, the journey would mean Titan's death, and Kupka's faithful creatures would not allow it. So what then was the plan of our Waluda friends? Reports suggest they made not for the coast, but for the desert. And by cutting through the Velcroy, a party traveling light would have Titan back in his bed days before a galley could lurch into port. To wit, it was the Royalists, not the Republicans, who effected Hugo Kupka's safe retreat. I would stake your life on it. So they make their way to the desert. Interesting. So it was the Waluders who spirited the wretch away. Now I think about it. There was something a little strange about the ships I saw. The men seemed almost crestfallen, as if in mourning. As if they believed, or were made to believe, that their master was dead. <laughs> you have a keen mind, Lord Rosfield. And you have your answer. To find Kupka, you have merely to follow the Royalist trail across the Velcroy. It may well have gone cold by now. But as they say in the Republic, all roads lead to Drake's Fang. Uh, allow me to accompany you part of the way. As luck would have it, I had intended to journey Camberwood on business after visiting you here. The Fang would be but a short detour. I'd be glad of the company. Give me a moment to make ready. I need to tell my friends what we've learned. And where we're going. Very well, but be quick about it, my boy. Time waits for no man. Yes. All right. Time to time to to talk with uh, my friends about everything. Maybe if I let you know what is going on, she might uh, she might help us. But she needs uh, she needs to rest uh, for the moment. So let's go we'll talk with her. I don't remember where was the infirmary. Uh, I literally forgot because the, the this new hideaway it's uh, it's very huge from the previous one. From the previous one, and this is the other stone.
the ability stone, which I can still change my appearance, uh, burn black. Yeah, it's, it still has a non, it's normal clothes. Uh, this is the thing, it was the library, not the infirmary. Maybe I'll go talk uh, with uh, that one. Uh, his name was uh, yeah, uh, uh, Apocrates. Apocrates. Okay. It is to see you, Clive. I have Let's a few talk uh, with him. Thousand tomes. Yeah, Apocrates updates the tomes. What subject shall we consider today? Mm, no, I don't know. <laughs> Nothing uh, so far. Better if I go talk with Otto. He's uh, the one uh, which I need to talk uh, for the main mission. Bolts from the blue. Okay, this is the the, the name uh, of the main quest. Hope I'm not going, not gonna do something very important. Um, some some place where to go. Who knows? Otto, Kuka's a Drake's fan. I'll be leaving before sunset. You're not going in there alone, are you? Don't worry. I'm not going there to destroy the Mother Crystal. All I'm after is Kupka's head. I won't risk any more than I have to. I promise. The Lanzer and the Fang are all Kupka's personal fiefdom. You have any trouble on the way, you ask for Rosina Dalemil. Some call her the Desert Hare. Who is she? An old associate of Sid's. And only since. All I know is the name, and that they used to meet at the Dalamil Inn. We've heard nothing from her since he died. But I'm thinking maybe the new Sid might be able to bring her back into the fold. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. So, uh, what about your uncle? I, I mean, he's welcome to stay, but... Don't look so worried. He'll be coming with me. Thank fuck for that. Gav, Otto, I'm leaving you two in charge. You can count on us. Yeah. Don't worry about that. Okay, I need to return to Byron. Uh, so in other words, once I talk, I'll talk with Byron, it means uh, it's going to be uh, the beginning of the next mission. Okay, so this means that I'm going to hand my gameplay now. It was very, very intense, uh, this gameplay. My fight against Kuka, his, uh, his guards, uh, even uh, his little pet. Uh, it was pretty, pretty much uh, intense. Alright, uh, guys, this is the end of the part number 10. So if you like it so far, if you want to see more content of me playing Final Fantasy 16, just follow me on my YouTube channel, but also on my other channels, which are Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, uh, and also Discord, and uh, also TikTok, which I share uh, some uh, shorts uh, of my some boss battles and uh, other battles. Okay, so don't forget to subscribe, tap some like, put some comments, and I'll see you next time for more Final Fantasy 16. From Bushido, have a nice day, and peace. Thank you.